So, you finally finished your character. You have a half-elf ranger named Luna with all her stats in place, equipment purchased, and ready for adventure. But hold on, we're not quite done yet. Why is that, you ask? Well, fear not. On today's episode of Nat 1, we'll be taking a look at backgrounds. Hello everyone, I'm DX Kramer. Backgrounds are a new feature introduced in D&D 5e. They are a great way to flesh out your character's backstory, what they were before the campaign started, and what drove them to the lifestyle of adventuring. The Player's Handbook has a ton of options for you to pick from starting on page 125. What all does a background include? Well, there are a number of things that all backgrounds have in common. First, you'll gain two proficiencies in skills according to what background you pick. You will also gain a feature, a special ability that can come in handy depending on the right circumstances. However, when it comes to proficiencies, if you're already proficient in a certain skill due to your class, and your background also lets you gain proficiency in the same skill, you can choose another skill to be proficient in as long as it's in the same category. This can also affect your tool proficiencies as well. Now just to clarify, these are not the same as feats. Some backgrounds even allow you to learn another language. You'll also gain some extra equipment. Next, you need to decide your personality traits. These are things like your ideals, bonds, and flaws. There are two ways you can do this. You can come up with these yourself, or if you're having trouble, there are characteristics you can roll for in each background description. After that, you should be all set. Now, where there are tons of backgrounds to pick from, Let's go to our previous example, Luna, and give her a background. Where she is a half-elf ranger, perhaps she was raised in the wilderness, away from civilization. This would be the perfect choice for the Outlander background. With Outlander, you gain proficiencies in athletics and survival. You gain a tool proficiency in one choice of musical instrument. You'll be able to learn one additional language. And you'll also gain some additional equipment, such as a staff, hunting trap, trophy of a small animal you killed, a set of traveler's clothes, and a small patch with 10 gold. Not too shabby, huh? As for the Outlander's feature, it is known as Wanderer. This means you have an excellent memory for maps and geography, and you can always recall the general layout of terrain, settlements, and other features around you. In addition, you can find food and fresh water for yourself and up to five other people each day provided that the land offers berries, small game, water, and so forth. Now what about the personality traits? Well, let's say in this example you decide to roll for those. The first one being Origin, so you roll a 6. Under the list, this would be Bounty Hunter. Next for personality trait, you roll a 1. This would mean you're driven by a wanderlust that led you away from home. Ideals, you roll a 3, meaning that to you, Honor is your highest priority, and if you bring dishonor to yourself, you dishonor your entire clan. For bonds, you roll another one, meaning your family, clan, or tribe is the most important thing in your life. And finally, flaws, which you roll a five, meaning violence is your answer to any challenge. Just like that, we now have a background for our character, Luna. A half-elf ranger whose tribe is out in the wilderness, searching to cleanse the area of hunters and predators. She tends to shoot first and ask questions later, and the excitement of getting the bad guy has caused her to wander off to far lands and search for the next bounty. Sounds like a pretty cool badass. This is only one of many ways to come up with your character's background, but if you already have an idea of your character's background, feel free to talk to your DM about your idea and see what background would be best fit your character. Just as a personal side note, please don't pick your background solely based on any of the proficiencies and bonuses your character can gain. That's all for today. Join us next time as we take a look at leveling up. Now remember where you came from and go forth on your new adventures. Until next time, take care. Peace.